so bored. Wolfsburg West, this is Richard. Ricardo. Hey, dude, it's Eddie. How are you? Hey, I'm good. Eddie, how are you this morning? I'm good, 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 man. Hey, I was wondering if I could place an order with you. Sure, let me pull you up on the pewter one, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh -huh. Well, that's a lot of thank yous. Well, you know, you never know. There's never enough thank yous to go around, so. I have said that for many of my years. All right, which, are you going to will call this, or uh, are we going to FedEx it? Ah, uh, you know what, will call, please. All right, cool. What you need? Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Let me get my list out. Uh, I need a 211 837 015 C as in Charlie. Okay. And then 211 837 016 C. And then. Um, we'll see you in about 45 minutes then. Okay, cool. All right. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, Eddie. See ya. Bye. See ya. Bye. Hey, you guys. Eddie Collins here from Hoppy W's. I actually did place a legitimate order with good old Richard Morris here in Wolfsburg West. And we're here to talk to you guys about part numbers. So I'm gonna place this booger down here. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys actually caught what my order was, but we were actually talking in uh, three digit numbers at a time, right? Nine digits uh, total, uh, three digits at a time, that's right. And it's funny you say that because there's really a language to part numbers. There is, and if anybody knows it, <laughs> you know what I always say. He's like the Rain Man of parts. Because, I don't know about that. <laughs> no, you are, you are, and I'm sure people, you know, come up to you at shows all the time saying, "Hey, man, what's this? And what side is this? Sure. And so on and so forth." So we thought it'd be kind of cool to actually come here into the the, the lair of mm -hmm. uh, the Richard Morris here and actually have you talk to everybody here about uh, part numbers cool. and how, you know, educate I'll, us. I'll tell you the first thing that I learned when I started here, Mark, you know, was working here before me. I was the second one. Earl, you, know, you think that's a guy's name, right? Uh -huh. E-R-O-L is how we're gonna spell it. Even, right, odd, left. Uh -huh. So if the part number ends in an even number, okay. it's a right. If it ends in an odd number, it's a left. Okay, all right, so like uh, the one that I just did with the, uh, what was it, the 015C. Yeah, door lock mechanisms. Mm -hmm. So the 015 uh, is an odd number. The five, okay. Five. So that would make it a left. A left. Okay. That's correct. And now that's... it's always as you sit in a car. People often go, well, what is it? Driver's side, passenger side, well, it's as you sit in the car. Okay. So think of right-hand drive cars, uh -huh. you're on the right-hand side. So right. you say driver, passenger, you need to understand what country you're in. Gotcha. But it's left and right never changes. Uh -huh. So it's always as you sit in the okay. car. Right, so there you go, you guys. For those of you that have right-hand drive vehicles, it's still going to be the one six for the right side and yeah. the one five for the left side. Correct. You're sitting on that. It's side. all perspective where they call it driver passenger. Very cool. So maybe you can go ahead and, and uh, explain to folks, you know, how uh, how they can actually go about looking at, you know, is it a type one number, type two number, and then uh, all, all of uh, you were showing me actually on uh, the manual that there's categories and subcategories. Well, there are. And inside our catalog, well, let's see, then it's what's the easiest way to show you this. Maybe we can cut to some visuals, I don't know. But, you know, we all know, we, we call things, it's a type 2 bus. Well, all buses are type 2s, but what does that mean? There's, you know, a panel bus, a micro bus, uh, a truck. So we have 211 for a panel, mm -hmm. 221 for a microbus, 231 combi, 241 deluxe, 261 truck, 271 ambulance. Uh -huh. But then there's variations of those. You can have uh, a type 26, 26, right? Type two, six for truck. Um, 261 is single cab, 265 is crew cab, uh -huh. right? And then you have like 241, like we said, for deluxe, uh, but you can have other variations uh, off of those numbers. Um, so when part numbers are made, it, the, the first number always designates what model it came on. So okay. if it starts with the two, it's a bus part. Okay. But buses will have 111s and 113 numbers because they came on the Beetle before they were used on a bus. Got it. Um, so there were some things we, I was thinking, there's 111s, 112s, 113, 114. Uh-huh. The common one we use in the States is 113. All Beetles in the States were deluxes. Okay. People go, that's a standard Beetle because they think it's a regular Beetle. No, standard <laughs> means cable breaks. You know, uh -huh. minimal kind of headlining, no chrome, that kind of stuff. So uh -huh. you don't have a standard Beetle, you've uh -huh. you got a deluxe. So that's a 113. Uh -huh. But if you had a right-hand drive deluxe, it would be a 114. Uh -huh. Standard models, 111s. Okay. Standard model right-hand drive, 112. Hmm. So a neat one is Carmen Ghia, although we don't sell Ghia parts, uh -huh. uh, 141. Oh, right, right, right. Well, that would be a convertible. 
Like a 151 is a Beetle convertible, 141 is Gia convertible. Okay. A Gia Coupe is a 143, like a Beetle is a 113. God, so God, you kind of okay. see they're all carbon Gias and Beetles uh -huh. are type ones. Uh -huh. And then the Deluxe shows a three, but the designation is in between there. And then Thing? Well, it's a 181. Uh, still convertible, huh? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is there a 183? Uh, that would be I a good question for the Thing experts. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. Yeah, you know, I've always been intrigued by, by the part numbers. And then especially one of the things that I think is really cool is when people are actually at a swap meet and they're looking through and they see something like this, for example, you know? Um, you know, you start looking at the part number and you start thinking, well, okay, so that's got a 211 and uh, 59 designation. So a 900 is electrical, okay, right? Because we have, uh, well, that's, the, so the fourth number is the main group and there's nine main groups, one through nine. And what are can, those groups? Can you go over them real quick? Uh, I can, sure, we'll just do it like this. 100 is your main engine group. Okay. 200s are fuel, exhaust, and heater. Uh, transmissions are 300. Ah, so that's, that's funny because I was Steering is 400. Train mass 301, 263, right? Right. Okay. Rear axle is 500. Brakes are 600. Foot and lever systems are 700. Body is the big one. Lots of stuff in the 8 and 900s. Uh -huh. So those are your main groups. That's your fourth number. But then you've got your subgroups. So like you were saying, 211, uh, 301. So 300 for transmission. 301s is the is uh, transmission cases, but 307s would be gears for s uh, split case transmission. 309 and 311 synchro mesh. Anything that has a 98, 211, uh, uh, 298 would be an exhaust kit. 398 would be some type of a transmission kit. Okay. 498 is a kit for front ends. So that's your subgroup. So kind of like, um, now you guys here at Wolf of West, you guys have always used the part, you know, the original Volkswagen part, part numbers, Volkswagen yes. part numbers. Or close facsimiles of. But I noticed that a lot of the times you'll have, if it's a kit, it'll have like your bumper bolt kits. It'll be a- 211, or 111, 98. 98, okay. Mm -hmm. So whenever there's a 98, it's, it's a kit. It is. Now, we've made so many kits of like wheel cylinder bolts, silly things that we're doing uh -huh. that we're not using 98 numbers. We're just kind of using different um, uh, subgroup numbers. So like a wheel cylinder is a 611. Uh -huh. So a bolt kit we're just using as a 611 rather than a 698. Got it. Because there'd just be too many 98 numbers. Uh -huh. So we, we kind of cheat a little bit when we do part numbers, but okay. it's all based off of the original language. Which is kind of nice because, I mean, for the most part, at least if anybody's actually doing a search for something on the internet, at least it'll kind of somewhat translate. A lot of the times when I'll go into Google something, it always thinks, number one, I'm doing a math problem. And I'm like, <laughs> right. Ugh, you know. But then you actually can, uh, maybe something will pop up, whether it's something on a, on a forum somewhere, you know, about the part. But also, then the letter, is it safe to assume that if, if there's no letter designation, like if it's a uh, 501A, but then there's a, you know, a C, a C a D, and so D, forth, right. you're, is it safe to assume that it's always gonna, it's gonna supersede? The letter designation would be so, Volkswagen made a bunch of horn buttons and they use the same part number for horn buttons, but they change the letter because as they improve and things go on, they are so A, B, C, D, F, G. So if you have something to QRS or later in the alphabet, you can go, wow, that's probably pretty late. Okay. A, B, C's are probably the, the earlier numbers. Gotcha. Just as a general, Okay. Loop. Um, yeah. Uh, that's kind of cool. I mean, it's 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 pretty neat. Going back to what I was saying as far as uh, when you're at the swap and you're actually finding something, you know, figuring out whether it's a left or a right. Like, for example, when you look at a turn signal for a, you know, 62 to 67 right. bus, sure. they look very similar and they look, you know, People call them fried eggs, you know, but they look they look very similar. That's right. But when you go to actually place it on the nose of your bus, you realize that no, it's got yeah. a nice little shape on there that yeah. it's not gonna jive with work, Earl. you know. Yeah. Earl exactly. is your friend. So it's kinda cool. You look at it, if it's a uh, sixty two, then it's uh, you know, it's it's even right odd yeah. left. Exactly. The so other thing about part numbers is you know, people will say, Oh, it's a a twenty seven C. Well, no, I need the O twenty seven C or whatever, just the last three numbers. Everything is three by three by three. So, and sometimes you might, might say 21, 19, 
33, it's like, I, I stutter when I hear that because this isn't flow and it's like, I gotta right. fight, 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 fight. <laughs> you know, and I don't need dashes, although that's fine, uh -huh, but uh -huh. three by three. Read your credit card number to me in two. <laughs> got it, got it. All right, did you hear that, you guys? So if you do call in your orders, you know, give them the numbers in three. So 311, 837. It's like Lucy blah, 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 blah. or uh, Ricky Ricardo. Yeah, da, 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 Lucy, you know, it still flows. I like it. I like it. Now, you know, one of the things that I that I kind of find interesting is when um, when I've ordered floor pans, mm -hmm. why is it, I mean, it's it's kind of interesting that you would think that you would have the left and the right part number, but then why is it that the first three numbers are designated as a one, so, you know. Mm -hmm. a, so a I one, guess one, that it's, uh, I mean, a one, one, two is a standard model right-hand drive, so maybe, it, you know, it's a standard, I don't know, standard right-hand drive. I don't know why they call it one, one, two. But the floor maybe we do. We'd have to look at the parts book. Huh. Yeah, it, it, it kind of throws me off. And here's it's probably a throw-off. What's a, what's a 133, then? Why did they do 133? Mm. Super Beetle. Okay, so that's also... But that's, okay. Super Beetle started in 71, but that designation didn't really start till 73 in part numbers. Because 71 2 Super is still similar to Standard Beetle. Mm -hmm. okay. So 73 and later. VIN numbers would do the same thing, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and actually, you bring up a good That's point. That's 65 and later, but anyway. So with regard to VIN numbers, mm -hmm. I mean, it's obviously crucial for people to go ahead if, if they have kind of a split year. Like I think of uh, 68 comes to mind, Well, right? 67, or really. 68. Yeah, or 67, right? What would be the most crucial one where it's going to be like a big difference between, you know, split years kind of a thing? What would be the crucial when order, what? When you're ordering parts, let's say. Let's say I've got a, a late 68, but I order early 68. You know, something. Well, so, you know, tie rods, the diameter uh, uh, of, of the tie rod ends goes into the spindle. There's early 68 and late 68. That was a split year. And different. Huh? And Volkswagen probably just used up the last of whatever they had from 67, you know, mm -hmm. till it ran out and just kept going. It wasn't till years later when crazy people like us are restoring <laughs> the car and we get into these differences. Volkswagen wanted to sell it, use their parts, make the maximum amount of money, right, right, you know, right. and not have a lot of leftover stuff. Uh -huh. So they didn't care about half year changes. <laughs> They put that on us, huh? Well, basically, yeah. I like it. I like it. No, but it is pretty neat. A lot of the times, you know, especially over the years, one of the things that I've noticed is that so many cars have been messed with so much that, you know, it, it, sometimes people will call and say, hey, you know, I've got, a, I've got a 64 bus and I need brake shoes. And so you send them brake shoes, but it turns out that they actually have an early beam on the bus. Well, probably a better example is a 63 bus because do you have a 1500 option or a not 1500 option okay that means did you get later bra bigger brakes which became standard in 64 uh -huh. well you got a well even then it gets kind of weird on the rear axle but yeah that 63 bus is a hard one 67 beetle a really difficult one so uh, beetle zwitter versus you know split that's not as bad but there's a lot of half year changes on a lot of things 55 model, for that matter, was only January 1st to July 31st. Huh, okay. Now, it's probably the smallest run mm -hmm. of Volkswagens would have been those seven months rather than a 12-month period. Now, putting it on the spot here, what's probably one of the wildest requests or calls you've ever had where you're just kind of scratching your head going, huh, wonder what this person has. Have you ever run into that situation? Well, sometimes you get that with dune buggies, oh. I suppose, or... Maybe just the customer just being new and not necessarily knowing what they have or maybe saying they have a Type 2 West Folia transporter bus. I'm like, well, do you have four cars or one? You know? <laughs> okay, you know what? So that, that brings up a good point. A lot of times people will say, so I've got a 65 Combi. But it's actually a I wish they'd say I've got a 65 Combi. Yeah, be well, Combi is just a misnomer. It's like saying a Xerox, right, or a Crescent Ranch. You know, because they're all combis in certain countries. Uh, they're all sambas in other countries. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so what's the difference between a combi and a samba? That's probably another another video. Uh -huh. uh, they'll say I've got a 65 walkthrough. Well, that probably doesn't matter. What model bus do you have? Because mm -hmm. that's what I'm more interested in. What model do you have? Gotcha, gotcha. So at least you know exactly what it is. Well, then I know what you're working with. And sometimes it makes a difference, sometimes it doesn't. But I also feel it's important for the customer to know what they have. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, you have a, a bus. And yeah, it's a Type 2 because all buses are Type 2s. Um, but, you know, the specifics of it. Now, here's one for you. So, um, obviously, early buses, at least in Europe, they refer to them as the T1. Oh, bus, you really right? want to start this conversation. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, so you've got the T1 and then what? T2 yeah, but a Type day, 1 right? is, I know, T1 right? So it contradicts right. itself. So it's a bad system. Off? It doesn't throw me off. I just hate it. I can follow <laughs> it, but it's like... 
Volkswagen didn't use that, so so why should I? You know, a, a T4 bus? No, it's a Type 2. I know what she means, the fourth generation. Uh -huh. You could call it a G4 maybe, uh -huh. which they don't do, but uh -huh. if you want to call it that, but not a T. It's just wrong. It's just reusing something and confusing. Uh huh. The origins of that. All right. Let me uh, let me get your blood pressure going even more. Now, Brazilian buses. How how is that making your life a little bit more complicated or less complicated? Well, just be forthcoming if you have a Brazilian bus for starters. Okay. I mean, there's no shame in that. It's a bus. Right, and they're right. just as fun to drive. And for a matter of fact, Brazilian buses are bitching because they're kind of bay window, kind of barn door. They're kind of. Well, a hermaphrodite. They're just made up of a whole bunch of things. Yeah, they are. And true. they're pretty bitching buses. Uh huh. And. Those buses, we should be grateful for for the Brazilian market in the 80s and even 70s. And anyway, for a while, because these Brazilian buses, that's how we were able to get parts mm -hmm. before a lot of reproductions came. It was just current production stuff. And yeah. and so Brazil gets a bad rap, but man, it really kept the Volkswagen scene alive. Yeah. And so you could say you've got a 65 bus, but it's a Brazilian bus and it might look like a 65, but it's got earlier door lock mechanisms mm -hmm. or something. So if you own a Brazilian bus, you really need to know buses pretty well right. to know if you have an early or a late because yeah, they're the same, but it's a totally different yeah. car. Yeah, and, and that that is definitely important just because of the fact that there are so many parts that will kind of translate sure. over some that won't. That's right. And uh, I, I do find it kind of intriguing, like cargo doors, for example, on a Brazilian bus, they're like, Barn, barn door. door. Yeah. yeah. For me. Yeah, which is kind of a So good. the barn door guys are lucky. They get a few parts that are available for them. Right. And you know, it is kind of interesting, you know, when you talk, when you're talking about part numbers and so forth, and how lucky we are now that, like, you know, Wolfsburg West actually reproduces so many different parts. Because I remember back in the day where, I mean, it was either NOS or mm -hmm. really good original, and that was it. And it was like, have fun completing your project. But now, obviously, there's a lot. Well, those work. are back in the days when Tony was restoring his convertible before Wolfsburg West, and there was just vintage parts and, and maybe a few other places. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and yeah, you just got it, and you made it work. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Nobody tore your car apart. You just got as close as you could. So you could look at car and go, that's an 80s restoration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And more parts, and, and that's kind of in our creed, the more that the reproduction parts are available and the more complete and accurate you can make your car, the more it's just going to be worth ultimately. Right, 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 right. Well, and that's why I think it's definitely important when, uh, you know, when people are, are ordering their parts and knowing what they have and what they're, they're ordering just to make sure that they're doing the right thing. It helps, but if, if, if they don't, mm -hmm. you know, just... Obviously, you guys are here to go ahead. We're, and we're here to help them, right? You, just, you need a brake shoe for, for your whatever. You can't figure it out. Well, send me a picture. You know, give me your VIN number, go out and take a look. We, we've always been able to work it out. Uh -huh. um, and I think with, with using Volkswagen part numbers, it just kind of makes it more fun, I think, for the user to use Volkswagen part numbers rather than just some number that some company randomly made up that right. means nothing to anybody other than that company. Right. And that's fine if companies are going to do that, but, you know, immerse yourself in them in part numbers and use them correctly. Yeah, big and, time. And, and it's kind of amazing what you'll get out of it. What, uh, what would you recommend as far as a good source of, um, you know, actually learning part numbers and so forth? The, the Bentley book or? Not what? really a Bentley book. Um, a good source of part numbers to learn? Yeah. Just when you're restoring your car, just look at the part number. And, and well, if it's a body, it's an 800 part. If it's a door, it's an 837. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe get your, uh, Get your list, like... Get your list. Oh, so, I mean, maybe not restoring your car, so I'll tell the guys here, you know, as you're pulling an order, mm -hmm. look at the part number that you're pulling in and start associating things and learn the main group. Uh -huh. And then learn the subgroup. Uh -huh. uh, of course, learn your models before that. But just in the order of operation, as we were talking about, to the model designation, the main group, subgroup, mm -hmm. uh, and just repetition is what's going to do it for you. Right. <laughs> How long did it take for you to actually, you know, kind of start... It took a while, you know, I... I remember getting door kits and I kind of would freak out and Mark would go, dude, what? And he'd go pull up my memory. And I was just so impressed that he could do that. Uh, and, you know, now, of course, I can do it. So it probably took me longer than uh -huh. it should have. Um, I don't know if I could cut the, the mustard uh -huh. if I was a new employee today. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you know, and it's funny because I remember, I, I can't remember the date, but I remember for the longest time you guys did, I think Tony allocated all the parts by group we number, did. right? Our and then you guys went to the bin. shelves were in numerological order. Yeah. So it was literally from zero to whatever, you know, uh -huh. whatever. 
all in numerological order. Right. It was great. It was beautiful. It was so easy. All your door component stuff uh -huh. is here. All your brake stuff is there. So yeah, nice. now we're in bin location. Uh -huh. And I can't find half the stuff, but since I know part number, I can go over here, then I have to print a cheat sheet to go on a map, so it's a quest, dude, every time right. I want something. But then there's guys in the warehouse that don't know part numbers, but uh -huh. they go, oh, that's E2C3. Uh -huh. And I'm equally as impressed. How do you know that, dude? Uh -huh. I mean, Good I could go, well, it's down there to the right, maybe knee high, but, and, and they've got like a 95% accuracy when I ask them. That's Pretty really cool. impressed. Yeah. I but guess. I don't think twice about part numbers. Uh -huh. So you might go, oh, that's great. But it's, so it's in my head. This is all I know. I probably go. couldn't work anywhere else because <laughs> all I know are part numbers. Unless it was another Volkswagen Unless place. it was another Volkswagen right. place and I did part numbers. Now, do you ever have dreams? About I used Polo to do Pluto. when I started. Oh, yeah, it would keep me up at night. County part numbers jumping over the whatever. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I call it a nightmare, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Sure. I would think but for so. the most part, I don't, I don't take the job home. I mean, I love uh -huh. Volkswagen. It's a hobby. And I go home and I play Volkswagen. Uh -huh. Um, but I don't, I don't take my job home with me as far as the goods and bads of the day. Mm -hmm. I'll go home and I'll try to be a hobbyist. I like that. Outside of that. I like it. Because it's, it's, it's a hobby, dude. And Tony always told me this is, job is meant to be fun. Have fun. Uh-huh. No, that's Dude, cool. I'm sorry you stressed. That was a bad conversation. But you know what? It's over. Take a breath. Have fun. Right. Enjoy your job. As you can see by my office, I enjoy my job. Yeah. No, you definitely do. In fact, every single time I get a chance to come in here, I always think to myself, one earthquake. <laughs> you know, yeah, <laughs> seriously, seriously. It couldn't be any messier than with an earthquake than it is now. No. I might find new stuff. Um, going from part numbers to longevity. Oh, yeah. How long have you been here now? Since April of 89. Okay, so no one's counting. Okay. So <laughs> April, wow. Just after high school. I graduated in 98 from high school. Wow. Right? And I was a customer before I started here. Okay. It was just Mark and Tony. And I so drive were you a customer in the or I was a customer at the first shop when they were off Cypress and Imperial. Oh, wow. And he, he walked straight into Tony's office. Uh -huh. And Tony used my car to test fit some parts, uh -huh. and, you know, oh, I have the original this. So what was your car back then? It was a deluxe microbus. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, 58 sunroof. Oh. Right? Dude. Thousand bucks, drove it home. But anyway, whatever. Thousand bucks, drove it home. I gave Mark his first ride in a bus with Safari Windows. Wow. And Tony didn't like buses back then. And I gave him, we took the trash out, we put the trash in the back of my uh -huh. bus, and I uh -huh. drove him to the trash can like... You know, a couple buildings away, uh -huh. and he walked back. Ah, I don't want to be in the bus. He just didn't like ah. us and stuff. But he makes him funny, right? That's funny. Well, this has been great, man, and this is always a, a treat. I think we'll have to do yet another video another time on all of your collection and how it continues to grow every Might time. Might be a multi-part video. Oh, I think so. I think so. Well, hey, man, as okay. always, thank you for your help, you and uh, thank you for the information, Hope you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I think we definitely do, and that's the beauty of this hobby is that you learn something each and every single time. I still you know? do too. You know, I like. I don't. I don't know everything. I don't uh, expect I don't that I do. Like, you know, I know a lot, of it. but I don't know everything. But I, I like to hang out with other people that know not more than I, but maybe something different than I. I like it. It's good for me. Good. 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 Keeps me humble too. I like it. Yeah. There you go. Pretty cool. Until there's a game show on uh, BW part numbers, huh? <laughs> I could at least the first six part numbers. Uh -huh. It's seven, eight, and nine, just the parts designation, but yeah. I know main group, subgroup pretty well. Uh -huh. Sometimes there's some weird variations uh, on the prefixes. All right. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's, yeah whatever. I don't cool. know. I don't know everything. Well, it's okay. Awesome. awesome. Cool, dude. Thank you. Appreciate gotcha. it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you guys learned something. See you later.